bought this cool old phone and I'm gonna tear it apart and do something. Okay. Sweet. There's the bell. I assume that there's like a DC motor in there that when it gets 48 volts or whatever, it rotates and rings a little bit. Yeah, your hand ain't gonna be able to ding it. I'm going to attach it to a battery and see if it rings using DC power. I'm not sure that it will. Hey, Daddy. Yeah? I got idea. What? Let's put it back. <laughs> Pointed at my hands. Oh, uh, 18 volts. Oh. 18 volts DC. One way we got no sound. We get a tiny amount. And so when I switch it back and forth, that means that this is kind of looking for DC, or sorry, AC power, actually. I shook this and a pin came out. And so that, that makes sense to me. I'm going to uh, hit that electromagnet with my little thing again. And you see the pin shot out there? Mm -hmm. um, so alternating current would cause this pin to go back and forth and not just in one direction. So that's why the bell rings. It's aiming <laughs> these little indentations that you can maybe just barely make out on the inside of that bell. I'm so excited by this little bell that I'm going to cut it out and save why? it. Why? Oh, just to <laughs> save it for some future project. Because if I, if I can change the hertz on it or something, then I can transform this into a weird little instrument. Oh. I kind of wonder what the limitations are. <laughs> Get these four wires going to the receiver, um, and this is the switch, the receiver switch, and this one was line in. I decided I'm going to make a microphone, um, an, uh, a stereo microphone, where each of these is a microphone. And I want to incorporate this switch, so I'm going to use that, like to turn the microphone off and on, then I'll wire it up to a an audio jack. I'm guessing that since they're grouped together black and yellow, red and green, that one of these is the earpiece and one of these is the mouthpiece. I'm gonna I'm gonna pursue it with that assumption in mind. I'm just gonna for now wire it directly to this audio jack. I'm going to test it. I love you. Yes, I love you too very much. Oh, See what happens when we pick it up and speak into the headset. Oh. Okay. Because it's plugged into the microphone jack of the computer, it's only picking up one side. That's not something I had thought about. But when I plug it into the amplifier, that should provided the hmm. I don't know if my amplifier has stereo input jack. This other amplifier, if I was smart, it would have been stereo. But uh, I know I definitely didn't wire that in stereo. Even if it is a stereo jack, I definitely wired it in mono. <sighs> Bummer. Oh well. Let's plug it in, see how it sounds. E. Ah. Hey. A lot of reverb. That was very loud, wasn't it? It's the earpiece that's the mic currently, and the mouthpiece is not. <laughs> it's killing my ears. Okay, so I learned that for purposes of recording, it's uh, more complicated than what I did, um, hooking it up to a computer. Uh, second, it's not coming out stereo because I've got one speaker, but it's also not going in as stereo. Because there's only one speaker, it probably doesn't have a stereo jack on it. Um, no big deal. Um, it's just kind of annoying. I didn't get to do the proof of concept. That's okay. I plugged it into the guitar and I got nothing. I plugged it into the piano and I got a tiny bit of something. I figure that the issue is frequency. Now I'll plug it into my daughter's phone.
the internet said to try 20 hertz. So I did, and uh, it worked. I do kind of wonder if any modifications can be made to get a higher frequency ring. Um, but for now, I'm satisfied with the project.